We are back for the conclusion of this match between Craig Holbrook and Laurie Rossetti, respective teams in this mixed team event. Going into the last two boxes, Craig Holbrook's team has a 52 pin lead, which would seem to be a commanding lead, but given the way the uh, bowling has gone so far today, nothing, no lead is safe. Tony Pastor has had a lot of strikes. Larry Doucette's been shooting great spares. And, uh, of course, Lori Rossetti had a double strike a while back. So I would not count on uh, a foregone conclusion at this point. And Sue Holleran with a nice bid there trying to make the 189, which she made a few boxes ago, you may recall. And she didn't quite get the 9-pin this time, though. Joanne Rosano almost converting a spare out of a uh, four drop there with the four horsemen left plus the nine ten. Sue Holleran's gonna have a nine box giving her 103 after nine. Joanne Rosano who you remember had a triple strike earlier in this match records a 10. So she's got 142 after nine. Just a phenomenal string here. And Sue punches out the half Worcester right. Let's see what Joanne can do. She goes to the left side, takes out four, the two, four, seven, and eight. And Sue Holleran goes right between the one and six. She kind of probably was really trying to make that spare because at this point they desperately need marks, Laurie Rossetti's team coming from behind so she kind of probably tried to play the outside of the head pin there and didn't quite catch it nice out though by Sue Holleran for an eight box so she's gonna finish with a 111 game and Joanne Rosano catches that head pin for a 10 box and a 152 So she certainly, uh, certainly did her part. So now Lynn Thompson and Lori Rossetti will come back up. I should mention also that um, on Craig Holbrook's team, they also have an extra bowler, Gary Santora, on the bench. Gary has been uh, um, a valuable part of the team. He's a, a veteran, as you know, from uh, uh, the Pro Series and the Western New England Tour and numerous TV appearances and so on. It's good to have a, an extra bowler in an event like this and Craig brought Gary in to, uh, to give his regulars a spell from time to time. Lori Rossetti with a nine box and Lynn Thompson also has a nine. Lori's got 103 after 9, and Lynn has 109 through the night. Over there in lane 12, that's Jess Bain on the Canadian team bowling in that other match against Dave Hodges' team. And Lori Rossetti throws another strike on lane 14. One three pocket hit, and she got a pin coming off the wall and, and rolling into the five. So that's going to, uh, you know, they're really trying to tighten up the match a little bit. It's, um, there is no quit at all in Lori Rossetti and her team. That's how they got to the point where, where they are, second place in this tournament. And Lynn Thompson takes a 10. So Lynn finishes with 119. Now let's see what Lori Rossetti can do with that strike. Can she throw another double? Nope, she punches out the four pin. So she's got one more ball. Let's see if she can make that really count on the strike fill. And pretty good ball. She got um, a seven fill. So that's a 120 game for Lori Rossetti. Good finish. And that's going to bring up 
Tony Pastor once again and Hawk Hallis. And Tony, both of these guys have been uh, have been on fire, as as you uh, recall from the earlier parts of this match. And Tony is actually leading the tournament with about a 137 average, and there is a strike in the ninth. Let's take another look at this. A pretty light hit there by Tony Pastor, but the head pin comes off the sidewall and generates a lot of action and just wipes out the two, four, seven, and finally the five pin. So that's uh, that gives Tony 114 through eight plus a strike in the ninth. Hawk Hallis punches through the middle, taking out five, leaving the two, three, four, six, ten. He'll try and work this out as best he can. Or maybe try to cut it over. He uh, takes out the six pin. Hawk Hallis is another veteran of many, many years on the... Uh, I've seen him on the, the Channel 5 show. The, I think he was on the old Channel 27 show. And, of course, Comcast. And a major force on the tournament scene. And these days, he's uh, he's a major force on the Senior Channel Pin Tour. Let's see what Tony Pastor can do with that strike. Let's see if he can throw another double. And he throws a good ball. Eight, actually, nine. Uh, that six pin went. So he's just got the seven pin left over there. And Hawk Hallis with another strike. Wow, it's uh, it's hard to keep up. Hawk Hallis with a strike in the tenth. Let's take a look. This is very similar to the the strike that Tony Pastor just had. A very light hit with a lot of sidewall action. And Hawk has 121 plus the strike fill. And let's see if Tony can make the spare. Tony Pastor has the seven pin for a spare. So he's got 144 with one ball to go. He's got to fill that spare and uh, he'll be, he'll need as, as much as he can get because uh, the, his team is trying to close that gap. And wouldn't you know it, another strike by Tony Pastor. And that's going to give him a 154 game. Uh, another very similar strike to that other one. I, again, a very light hit. And those seem to, light hits seem to work really well at Park Place. Much better than uh, if you hit the head pin high, you don't tend to uh, generate as much action as a light hit generates. Meanwhile, Hawk Hallis with an 8 drop. He pre came pretty close to having a double himself there. And uh, he's got a 9 fill on, on the strike. So that's a 130 game for Hawk Hallis. So now Larry Doucette and Dave Dupuy will come back up for their last two. Larry's got 103 through 8 and Dave has 119. And Larry has got a seven drop. And Dave with a nine drop. Let's see what Larry can do with this four, seven, ten split with a couple of pieces of wood that might help him. And sure enough, they do. Great shot by Larry Doucette. Just fantastic spare shooting by Larry throughout this match. And you can see how he plays the wood to perfection with uh, that 4-7-10 conversion. And Dave Dupuy is all over that 4-pin for a spare. So that's going to give Dave 129 plus the spare fill. And Larry Doucette has got 113 plus the, uh, the fill through 9. 
Larry adds eight. Kind of a wayward shot there, but he got a nice break and got eight. And Dave Dupuy, well, you can't see it, but I have it on good authority that that's a five drop, giving him 134 through nine. And Larry just goes by the head pin, taking out the eight. And you can see that, uh, you can hear that Dave Dupuy did not convert that spare. And it'll be a nine for Larry Doucette and a 130 game. Excellent bowling by Larry. Meanwhile, Dave records a 10 box and that's a 144 game. So according to my arithmetic, it is a 27 pin lead for Craig Holbrook's team going down into the last two boxes for Craig and Chris Sacchetti. So Chris is probably going to need to throw a double in order to uh, pick up 27 pins. Two marks won't do it. He's got nine on the first ball. Craig Holbrook. Craig has not had a phenomenal match right here. But when you've got bowlers like Joanne Rosano, Hawk Hallis, Dave Dupuy bowling the way they are, they've uh, picked up a lot of the slack. Chris Sacchetti with the spare. So he's still alive. That his team, uh, they're hanging in there right to the end. And Craig Holbrook with a nine. That gives him 97 through nine. Chris Sacchetti with 101 plus the fill in the ninth. Chris really needs a strike here. And he almost, and he really comes very close to getting a strike. He gets, that pin came across, I think it was the head pin came off the wall. And it went in front of the five pin twice and just did not take it down. So that gives him a, a nine fill and 110. And he makes a spare, but that's not going to be enough. Uh, he, he, Chris Sacchetti needed a double strike in that last frame to have a chance to, to pick up the necessary pins. So Craig Holbrook is going to be open, but uh, he makes a 10 box and a 107 game, and that gives his team a total of 652, which is going to be good for the win over Lori Rossetti's team. And uh, Chris Sacchetti adds five, so that's a, um, a 125 game for him and a 640 total for the team. So you can see the scores coming up. Holbrook's team, KOD, comes up with a 652 total in this exciting final match. And Lori Rossetti's team puts up a, a strong effort with 640 to, uh, to come in to stay in the second place position. They really gave it a great try to come back. So uh, with this win in, in this match, Craig Holbrook's team clinches the win in this fifth annual mixed team tournament here at Park Place Lanes. We'll see you next year.